the Fall All Access. I'm Jamie Stangle, joined by head coach Mary Evans. Coach, after the Southern Illinois game on Friday, you really preached toughness. How do you feel like your team responded to that message? I thought they responded really well. I thought they came out um, another physical game today, and they came out with much better fight, much better toughness. Um, took us a little bit to get into it, but once we did, I thought they settled in, um, and their effort was fantastic tonight. And that's what we wanted to see after Friday night. It was kind of a rude awakening to what the Valley's all about Friday night. And you can talk about it all you want, but until you play in those games, um, it takes a little bit. It takes that to really understand what the physicality of this league is. So I thought we, we stepped up and we responded really well to that. You guys, as you mentioned, had deficits up to 20 a couple times in the game and chipped it all the way back to single digits. How are you going to use that going forward into two road games next weekend? Um, I think we can, the biggest thing I think we can take from this is the way that we executed offensively in the second half. I think that was by far against that kind of physicality the best we've executed all year. Um, we really worked collectively as five to get the shots we wanted instead of just the shots that they were giving us. Um, so I think we can really use that kind of to boost as we move forward going into to the two conference road games this weekend. We saw a free throw discrepancy of 36 to 8 in this game. Is that something you're going to address with your team as maybe trying to get to the lane, to the free throw line more? Or is it just your style of play is a little bit different? You know, I think we drive the ball to the rim quite a bit. Um, you know, I don't know why we don't get calls or why we do get calls. I don't worry about it. But we're just going to continue to work on straight line drives, um, getting to the rim. And, and we're going to, I guess, have to throw out worrying about contact and just get in and finish. And if we can get Amelon's great in front of us, we can make the two points. But, um, you know, I was really proud of how hard they fought and, and the amount of contact that they took tonight and played through it. I think that will go a long way moving forward for us. Coach, really nice play for your team, a nice comeback from Friday night. So good luck next weekend on the road. All right, thank you. All right, I'm joined now by Grace Hales. Grace, you finished tonight with 17 points, six three-pointers on the night, and, and really one of the more efficient offensive games I've seen from a Valpo player. How did you think your guys' effort was against the team that's number 21 in the country picked to win the Valley? I think that our, our last game was a wake-up call for us, and obviously we don't like losses and we don't take losses lightly, but I think, like Coach said, that was a wake-up call we needed, and that's why we came out so hot today, and we really did execute, and that's why I was able to get so many shots as we were running our offense. Now, uh, like you said, nobody takes losing as a positive. However, 13 points to a really good team, is this something you'll use to kind of springboard into next weekend? Oh yeah, for sure. I think this um, bounce back game is definitely what we need. And um, going into next weekend, there are two big games that you know we can come out on top of, so I feel like we're really going to use this momentum and take it into practice next week and hopefully come out hot just like we did today. Two games against really physical teams to start out Valley play. Do you think that you guys have been able to kind of increase your physicality because of what you've faced thus far? Oh yeah, for sure. And I feel like all around this year, we are, be able, we are able to be more physical team because we're so much deeper. Last year, we would get into foul trouble pretty quickly when we were only playing with about eight people. And this year, we're not as worried about that. We know that it's okay to be aggressive, be physical because another girl's gonna be ready to come in. Grace, great game. Good luck next weekend. Thank you.